Hi, I'm Jeff Liddy, the window expert. Today we're gonna to talk about how to calculate the R value of your new window. So if you go on window shopping and you start seeing things, you're like, oh, what is this? I've never heard of this term. Solar heat gain coefficient, U factor, variable light transmission, condensation re uh, resistance. These are all things that are kind of new to people. If you have not bought windows before, it might be a little complicated. I did make a really detailed video about how to read the National Fenestration Rating Council's sticker. That's an NFRC sticker that's on windows when you buy a window. It's got a little sticker, right? And I made a video about that. It's up here, it's down there. Maybe you should watch that first before you come back to this video because that's gonna help you understand how to even read the label on your window so you know what you're getting. Now, as a little side note before I jump into this, I'm gonna tell you too that it's very important when you get a quote from someone for your windows that that information, that NFRC information, is somewhere in writing on the proposal that they gave you because they may show you a sample window that they bring into, their, into your home and it may have a sticker on it and it shows the values of that window, but it doesn't mean that that's exactly the window you're going to get when it shows up to your house. Now you say, Jeff, are you telling me that people are being disingenuous and they're being dishonest? Well, there's some of those people, but not for that reason. I'm saying that to you because that sticker is going to be printed for that exact window based on its size and what glass package it has in it, the frame material, does it or does it not have grids, and other things can contribute to what those ratings are. So when I bring in a very small sample window, it's actually gonna show better performance numbers than a large window because that small window has a more frame to glass ratio and frame we know performs better than glass when it comes to energy efficiency. So I would get a proposal in writing that breaks down by line item each window, what the U factor, what the solar heat gain, et cetera, is for that specific window. That's gonna be very helpful in you making sure you get exactly what you thought you were going to get when uh, you buy your windows. Now, I wanna tell you just a real quick funny story. I started this industry in 2013, uh, 2011, and it was about 2013, I've been doing it for two years. I discovered that there were some companies that weren't putting window stickers on their window, and I think it was because they would show you a sample window and it was great, and then the window you got wasn't the same window. I suspected that. And I told the homeowner that one time, I said, look, I've seen this happen, I believe it's true, I believe it happens. She said, uh, okay, well, thank you for the warning. And she didn't buy from me, she bought from someone else. She called me about three months later when they were going to install her windows and she said, Jeff, I refused this entire order. She said, not a single window had a sticker on it. And when I asked them what happened to them, they said, oh, they blew off going down the highway. But no, these are the windows you ordered. No stickers. No, they did not blow off going down the highway. We deliver windows all the time. Of course, ours are in enclosed trailers, but Stuff does not blow off going down the highway. Those stickers, windows, windows were stacked up against windows, against windows, against windows. How did the stickers in the middle window blow off? But anyway, just kind of something for you to be aware of. Now, when we calculate the energy efficiency of products, most products, they're using what's called an R value. You talk about insulation for your walls has an R value. Insulation in your attic has an R value. A lot of things have R values. So what is an R value? Well, an R value is a resistance value. The higher the number, the more resistance that particular media, that product, has towards heat transfer. So remember, whether the heat's outside and it wants to transfer itself into your house when you don't want it to, or if the heat's inside your house and it wants to transfer itself out of your house when you don't want it to, that is R value. That is resistance value. You are resisting the transfer of that heat, whether it be in or out, but it's going through a product. So how do we measure the R value on a window? You take one divided by your U factor and that is the R value. So on a 0 0.30 window, we have one divided by 0 0.30 and you can see that's a 3.3 U factor. If I had a 0.25 U factor, I'd take one divided by 0.25 and you can see that that is a four R value. So that's a 4 R value compared to a 3.3. Now if I had a 0.20 U factor, okay, I take 1 divided by 0.20, that is a 5. So let's say we got down to a 0.10, okay, let's say that we had that. So I'm going to take a 1, 
a 0.10 u factor uh, and I'm going to see what that is. That is a u factor or r value of a 10. So you can see how exponentially the lower the number it becomes even more powerful. Remember we started at a 3.3, we went to a 4, we went to a 5, and look at this, we go to a 10 just by dropping those 10 extra points. It's like a golf score. The lower it is, the more difficult it becomes to achieve. Now, does that matter a lot to you? Well, it does in all climates, but especially in a cold climate, especially in a northern climate where we're always trying to resist that heat from leaving our house. In a southern climate, what we like more is solar heat gain. We want to try to keep the sun from warming the house, and that's where a high quality, high energy efficiency, solar heat gain product is going to do its very best job for you. U factor, not so much. Has this been helpful? I hope so. Hey, if you're in Houston or if you're in DFW, we'd love to help you with your window project. You can visit us at thewindowexperts.com. And if we're not in your area, I also have a list there of great window companies all over the country. Someone that can help you with your project. You should check it out. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. Tune in soon. I'll be back. Talk to you again real soon. Bye-bye.